so the next step after a tutorial would probably be to sit down and unpack what's been shared about your ideas and to think about different ways you can implement the critique and yeah, expand on what you've heard. From the outcome of the tutorial, I would often take with me notes and maybe keywords and motives that seem to be coming up repetitively throughout the group discussion, what things are really standing out and what are maybe sort of individual, just random statements. And I think I'd from that gather sort of a general perception of the work and then maybe ideas of what might be interesting new directions to take it in. I'll reflect back on the work and maybe if there are elements that um, have worked with what I'm intending to translate, then I'll make them stronger maybe. Yeah, it helps to understand how the work's been received. I think taking notes and being aware of um, all the points that come up, I think really it's about broadening your mind and uh, seeing things from a different point of view. And, uh, you know, perhaps it's about getting references of other artists to look at and um, sort of run with it, you know, to really open up your mind. I will listen to what everyone's saying and I'll write notes while people are talking. Um, sometimes I'll ask the group if I can record the session um, with their permission and tell them that it's just uh, so I can write down what it is that they've said um, after their approval, of course. Well, I'll write it all out for the will form and um, often look up the artists that were recommended to me. And then I will uh, start working in the studio um, on the recommendations that I received. At the end of the tutorial, I always get something that's unexpected. Um, most of the time I will go into a tutorial, present my work and have an expected outcome. Like I would specifically ask things that, uh, what does this thing make you feel? Like, have I succeeded like, at what I tried to say? And then to see to what extent do they like, understand it the way I want them to understand. But it's quite pleasant to know that most of the time they always see something that I'm never aware of in my work. And then those things are still um, solid. <laughs> it's, not, it's not like their feedbacks. If, if it's different to my intention, it doesn't matter. I think it matters a lot because it teaches me, myself as an artist, like what does my work make me? Yeah.